So today we're going to be going over how to set up a Tailwind CSS within a brand new Adonis.js project. So the first thing that we're going to want is a brand new Adonis project. So let's go ahead and npm init Adonis TS app at latest. And I'm going to call this project Tailwind CSS example. Okay, let's select web and we'll hit enter for that. And then you can choose whether or not you want ESL and prettier, but we are going to want Encore installed. Once we run through those basic steps, it's gonna go ahead and install the required dependencies for the selections that we made. Okay, so that completed successfully. So let's go ahead and CD into our project here. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is install the required dependencies. So in order to actually use Tailwind CSS, we're going to need post CSS installed and configured within our project. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we'll want to npm i as a dev dependency post CSS loader and now we're going to want to install tailwind css within our project so let's go ahead and do npm i as a dev dependency again tailwind css and then let's go ahead and generate out its configuration file so npx tailwind css init and that will create a tailwind config.js file within the root of our project okay so now we're going to want to jump into the code of our application here and now we're going to want to enable post CSS loader within our Webpack config. So we've installed it, now we want to tell Webpack to actually use it. So we're gonna to wanna to scroll down to about line 172 here. So right about here, and go ahead and just uncomment this line that says encore.enable post CSS loader. We don't need to do anything else with it, just for a generic Tailwind CSS installation, that's all that we need. Now, in order for post CSS to actually know what plugins to use, we're going to need to define that within our application as well. And one way that we can do that is to create on the root of our application, a post css.config.js file that looks a little bit something like this. So we're gonna to want to export, so module.exports an object, containing the key plugins, which is an array. And then within this array, we're just going to want to require any plugins that we are going to want post CSS to use. So for this case, we're going to want Tailwind CSS. So let's go ahead and require Tailwind CSS. And then if you need to, you can add parentheses here to call a function for this and then pass in a specific configuration for this Tailwind CSS requirement. Uh, it's going to default to the tailwind.config.js file on the root of your project. So in this case, we don't need to do anything within there. So now by default, whenever we start up our server, Tailwind CSS is going to try to purge all of the Tailwind CSS classes that are not in use within our project. So we're going to want to define the content files that it should check for class usages within our project so that it knows what it can safely purge from our CSS file. So let's go ahead and jump into our Tailwind configuration here, tailwind.config.js. And within this content array is where we're going to define those content paths. So we can do this in one line here for the most part. So we're going to want resources and then we could do star star for any directory within there and then star dot for any file within there. And then we can define a number of different file extensions. So for example, edge, maybe JS, TS, view. If you're using uh, React, maybe JSX and TSX. I'm not quite sure if React still uses those. And with this one line, we're now telling Tailwind CSS to look within our resources directory under any directory within here for files specifically ending in .js, .edge, .ts, view, JSX, TSX. So feel free to alter this to however your project needs. Uh, for the most part, this should cover most usages. And now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and jump into our CSS file here. And let's replace everything and add in the Tailwind CSS directives. So that's gonna be at Tailwind base, at Tailwind components, at Tailwind utilities, and that should be it. So we can go ahead and give that a save. And at this point, everything for Tailwind CSS should be configured within our Adonis.js project. So let's go ahead and put it to the test. So let's go ahead and start our application up here. So let's do npm run dev within our terminal. And let's open it up within our browser here. So localhost 3333 is the default. And you can see that we no longer have any of those pretty styles that Adonis starts out with for the welcome page. And everything within our HTML here is all the same size, despite this being an H1. So it looks like it's working correctly, but let's go ahead and do the age old test of making some text red. So let's jump into our welcome.edge file. And right here for this H1, let's go ahead and just do text red 600, give that a save. And our browser page should automatically update thanks to Webpack Encore with the updated HTML. And our text is now red, so it looks like Tailwind CSS is working properly within our application. 